All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It has been five days, and for a whole week, uh, we have tracked data. For a whole week, we have been taking a hideous, hideous task in this channel because there was, there is a huge, huge um, way of trying to track this, but it was in the beginning, it was getting very tough to track until and unless we had a word with few people who did share us some API data. That API data, which actually is every race that has a data and we could track down each and every race. So here we go again and uh, we are going to bring you back to our main page, which is our desktop and we are going to explain you through everything right now. By the way, this is going to be a multi-part episode. I'm going to let you go through all I went through this past eight days and how I analyzed everything. You're going to get a breakdown of each and every logical step I used to get this conclusion. It was very, very tough to come through this conclusion because it is not an easy way to track at all. And hence comes the confusion. Hence, you will see that uh, this is not pumping or anything because it's a major confusion and marketplace is just bloated up out of this confusion. And let's go to desktop and I'm going to show you why. Uh, desktop and you're going to see in marketplace. People just don't know what to put, you know, like they literally do not have idea what to put. The biggest mistake was the were done by those people. Those who even in even on my discord, there was this dude coming in from a guild. I will not mention their name. I mean, I could technically because, uh, you know, they are not from US or anything, but I still would not do not to harm their reputation or anything. They came up to the chat and they said to me that stats do matter. I said stats matter, but it doesn't matter as an overall stats. Nobody knew about it except uh, from somebody from uh, Fleury Tail Squadron in this one. Me and him, we had the same theory that it cannot be possible that stats, all overall stats will matter. That means everybody will have meta, right? And it could not be possible that even if you have like one stat of everything, you're not going to make this because that is impossible too. So you have to imagine this, that certain stats in certain combination will matter. So it's a combination and it is in correlation to what sort of uh, stadium it is in, which means what is the stadium stats. So all of this together will improve your win rate. It's super complicated, I know, but I'm going to show you something right now. So how we came into this, so this is the final results uh, of the track. But at first, what we did was that we went through and collected 3,000 races. So this is a raw data of 3,332 race. That's how much data we had. Uh, we literally went through each and every pega, converted that into a CSV format, compiled all the CSVs, and then we made this... Uh, you know, this uh, into one Excel sheet. Now, remember this very, very carefully. You see this? This is not written by me. This is taken from an API data. Race weather wind speed, race weather wind direction, race weather humidity, race weather light, and race weather fire. On this side will be your positions. On this side will be rewards. Okay? So, to go through all this, at first, we have to understand correlation. So, correlation can be literally found uh, by you typing, you know, like on Excel, correlate, correl, and then you can put, you can take X as your variable, which is a, a varying data, which changes um, very often, which is going to be either wind speed or anything. So you go ahead and click on all of this, which is 3,000 of them. 
and you can do it yourself i'm just showing this rundown because i want you to do yourself do not go for people those who are saying hey i heard that this matters hey i heard this matters if you know how to work in excel if you have attended high school if you have gone to college this is all high school stuff okay you do not need university level statistics degree trust me they go through worse than this so for example i'm taking all of these i'm still you will see how many data i'm processing at the same time it's, and basically i went through all this at first and it was super hard to get um uh get hold of this data at first first two three days i was not doing anything because first two days was let it race let's get these data later on okay so this and then this is your x so your weather wind speed is your x your weather wind speed direction here is your x1 or you can name this x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and these either this one is your y or this one is your y that's how you are correlating so again correlation is on there is two sort of correlation okay first correlation is pearson's that is one data versus another data and what are their correlation if it's positive which means it moves to both of these two uh, data they move together if it's negative both of these data are opposite of each other so they are going opposite direction of each other one is going up and the other one is going down that is called sphere uh, pearson's correlation then there is something called spearman's row correlation spearman's co correlation means that these two data that are moving with each other is their relationship between these two data pretty strong or not or you know like these two data are moving up and down but one of the data are deviating like this and then they are coming back and then they are moving deviating like this then they are coming back so we have to see spearman's gives you an analysis of how close that two relationship is um i was checking spearman's but in this video primarily we are going to focus on pearson's uh, correlation coefficient okay so that is very very important because that's how basically everything is tracked from sensors to everything everybody do spearson's pearson's okay uh now let's go back to um you know correlation uh press control and that was your why <laughs> oh my god did i just miss that again and this is the problem i was facing because there is so much of data and if you so after you select all of these and uh, i will be showing you one thing i'm not going to do it one more time because it's a lot um uh, we found out that remember this position 1 to position 15 1 being the lowest 15 being the highest for computer for data for me and you 1 means higher so out here the data will be reversed and the pictures are going to get reversed so let's change scene and so that we can see more uh, of the screen so first one is position and correlation between position of uh, race versus weather wind speed now i have posted down a link down below where you can take this data and visualize yourself now negative correlation which means that uh your positions are you know higher when your wind speed is lower while your position is lower when the wind speed is higher this negative correlation is actually favorable as you can see out here in this trend that this negative correlation is actually very favorable for first position so that is very important very important is also correlation of position with race weather wind direction what does that mean is that if a tracks wind direction is going to be higher that means there is a negative correlation with this which means again as you can see just reverse that in your mind just reverse this whole concept in your mind that uh, 
you know, higher it goes, favorable it is for you. Okay, so it is this negative correlation is actually towards 15th position. Remember this towards 15th position. We are talking towards first position. The computer thinks 15 is a higher value than the first, but for us is to achieve the first position. And that is the reason it was getting confusing. In the beginning, I made another chart for you. And in that way, you will be uh, checking out um, first position by position by rewards, not through just by position. So going through all this, you'll be going through all of this, checking it out yourself. Um, I literally dropped this section out here where I compared rewards to race weather wind speed, rewards to race weather wind direction, rewards to race weather wind humidity, rewards to weather lightning, and rewards to weather fire. So in this, you will see that the highest reward is for a pega that is performing, that, that is having, no, the highest reward is when your pega is on a higher weather wind speed track, higher weather wind direction track, and higher weather wind humidity track, but it is negative to a higher weather wind, a weather lightning track and weather fire track. So it is again very critical for us to understand that in stadium stats, which stats are favorable for win. So going through all this data, going through all these charts and everything, this is just depiction and this is, um, you know, like uh, this is going to be um, a control test that I did with some other third party website. I found out that higher win percentage is on a track that has more weather wind speed which is actually more than weather direction, which is in turn more than weather lightning, and which is in turn more than weather fire. To compare whether this is true or not, so you will see that speed, more than wind direction, more than humidity, more than weather fire, and more than weather lightning. So basically to get a higher win rate, uh, win rewards, more in a stadium that has these following attributes, okay? Now this is going to be the first part of the data. So in this first part of the data, we tried to track down at first stadium stats, which stadium and what are the factors of the stadium that will give you maximum gold or maximum rewards. So with that conclusion, our conclusion was a track that has weather wind speed, more than weather wind direction, more than weather lightning, and more than weather fire will give you more um, wind. Now, with that said, next episode, we are going to check out um, how does speed, strength, and all that stuff uh, going to relate to this? And like, you know, like how does stats even matter? And how can I relate my stadium stats to my PEGA stats? Okay. And that is how we came to the conclusion of which stats are favorable to win, win, win. All right, so that will be all from Techadoo for the first part. Do not forget to watch the second part because in first part, I established you a concept. With the second part, we are going to do a small recap for two minutes, and then we are going to proceed into our kind of second last kind of an episode. And then on the third episode, you're going to get a final concept, and you yourself are going to understand like how to buy Pegas on Marketplace. So that will be all. Take care. See you guys again. I'm going to shoot this episode right now. Again, these uh, episodes should drop in like six, seven hours of uh, splits um, just because nobody watches videos for 15 minutes. I mean, this is also 15 minutes anyways. So 